Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 35 of The Legend of... Oh, fuck. Of Super Mario RPG. Last time I went a little bit puy loco. Is, at least as far as I can remember, I went a little crazy or random or something. Probably not. I was probably just myself, except more exuberant. But, I'm just gonna try and keep it going this time. I have no idea what I mean by that, but yeah, yeah, uh, let's just get on with this. Okay. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. There's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Yippee ki yay. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not holding my control. What? Why? Uh, how could I be so stupid? Eh. Sorry, guys. My controller was on the floor. I don't know why, but. Okay, now that I'm actually holding it, let's advance this. Okay. Can I talk to you? Uh, now, okay, there you go. Thanks. Want to challenge it? Uh, sure, let's see. Okay, I'll need five coins from you. Need an explanation? Uh, no, I don't. I'll explain it myself. Actually, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just jump across the bridge. If you make it all the way across, you win. Alright, normal, special, and expert. To me, special sounds better than expert, or harder, but I don't know. Okay, so here's the deal with this. You can get different prizes depending on which one of these you, difficulties you choose. And you can actually do this minigame multiple times, or like as many times as you want, so you can just keep coming back and getting more prizes. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so, for normal, you will get five coins if you win, and it's pretty easy. For special, it's a little bit difficult, more difficult, but still not too bad, and you get eight coins if you win. And for expert, if you, it is actually quite difficult, and you'll probably fall off a little bit. But if you win, you get a frog coin, so that's definitely worth it. And that's really the only one that's more worth it, because you add from, I, with the other two, you either break even or whoa, forgot about the bolt bills. Yeah, those guys can push you off and be annoying. But yeah, with the other two, you either what? I lost before I even got on the bridge. That's just, that's just not right. That's not fucking fair. Yeah, sure. Right, need an explanation? No. I just pretty much explained it right there. Just don't get hit by the bullet bills and you're fine. Yeah, but you either break even or get a three coin profit, basically. Oh, what? No. The perspective is just so screwed up on these things. Yeah, I forgot. You just have to jump on top of this guy. You don't have to talk to him. Thank goodness. Alright. Uh, no. Stop, stop asking me. If I said no once, I'm not going to need an explanation the second time. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're playing a game or something, like a video game, I mean. And you play it through once, like all the way, without like any instruction manual or whatever. And then on your second playthrough, you're like, you know what, I'm gonna... I think I need an instruction manual this time, just to make sure I'm playing it right. And then someone watching you is like, of course you're fucking playing it right, you've already beaten it once. Stupid. Okay. Oh, what? Come on, that's like the second time I've done that. Just like misjudge my distance or jumping area. Alright. Ah, I don't want to make a fail montage of this. But I might have to. Ah, fail montages are always fun to edit together. They're not fun to play through. Wait, I said yes on the explanation that time. Wow. Well, that just completely invalidated my point then. Whatever. Alright. Hey, stupid. No, again? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I didn't start my timer either. I'm just being sloppy this record. Oh no, I did start my timer. Never mind. I'm perfectly organized. Never mind. Fluffy donut. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. That was close. No. Ah. <sighs> Dude. What are these guys anyways? Like like these guys that I'm talking to and riding on heads of what are they? Just like black mages, I guess. Oh whoa! I stood on top of a bull bill there. That was neat. Uh and I oh there you go. Uh I did it. See it's really not that hard. Yahoo! Do you want to double your winnings? Get it get double the coins if you make it across the same course in one attempt. Be warned, this course is harder, and if you fall, you won't get any coins. 
still want to try? No thanks. That sounds kind of annoying and mean and nasty. So let's just get our frog coin and be done with it. Can I ride this? Of course not. Alright, whoa. What's this place? I don't know, but I'm leaving right now. Because I actually do know what that place is. But I don't want to be there quite yet. Alright, first you want to go ahead and hop. Whoa! I want to explain that, but I guess I got overzealous and now we're here. Um, this is kind of just another random section of lens and I don't know why this section really exists. Unless I'm like forgetting something that uh, is important that I do here. But as far as I remember, this like this is just like an optional area that you can come to fight monsters and stuff. Just like this. Okay. Ooh, what the hell is that? It's like a rotting plant. It's a criffid. Well, it looks deadly, so let's kill it. Oh my. 55. Caution, confused monster. No! Caution, confused monster! I don't think I've ever been hit by a confused monster, so I don't know why they say caution. Yeah. It's like your monster's confused. Watch the fuck out. Oh, <laughs> Gino just dies. Uh. No. Oh, crap. Well, uh, I guess now it would be a pretty good time to show off the uh, action command for bring, for come back. So, just as the star hits the body, I believe it was. We Right there. Did I get it? I don't know. It was a kind of a neat little light show there, and... Eh. Okay. What the hell? Why is there a fish inside of a plant? It doesn't make any sense. But you know what? You just you just die. Stop making us like scared or whatever you're doing. Why well, won't it die? I'm gonna need to use the weakness of these guys, which is probably fire. Caution confuse! Monster! Wonder if those geckets will eventually just kill each other. Wouldn't that be something? Poison. Oh. Wow. Oh, whoa. Okay, well, your poison just kind of killed me without the poison killing me. What? What? No. Am I, am I going to lose? I'm going to lose this fight, aren't I? Why am I still fighting? I should just run away. I should just run away. Just run away. Uh, yeah. Okay. Goodbye. No. No. Sleep sauce. Oh, shit. Um, oh yeah, I'm immune to sleep. Haha. Ha. He's stupid. No, no, no. Game over? Oh. <laughs> no. Just, that's. Huh, what? I, I understand getting the game over the first time against the cake boss, cause, or the, against the bunt, because that was just like. That was a boss. And. You're supposed to get game overs against bosses because bosses are supposed to be challenging. But, just, just, that was a plant and a fish. And this is a fink flower. I never showed this enemy off, but it was, it was a fish and a plant and gecko was a spider. Those aren't supposed to kill you. They're supposed to be easy-ish. Why haven't I cut back yet? Oh, hey, look at that. Gino reached level 15. Wow. All right, so, um, by the way, this is off camera on my backtracking, but I might as well just cut in right now anyways because I'm almost there. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect. All right, yeah, see, like, I'm just right here, which is pretty much where I died. And, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight these guys just because I kind of need the experience. And by the way, here is... A nice swifter method I felt I found to deal with these crefids or crifids I mean just use the super jump it's like their actual weakness is ice that's their only weakness and their resistance to uh, fire and poison but um, the super jump is quite effective if you can pull it off enough here I'll just show you Two seventeen, yeah. 
and they have 320 HP, so they can take quite a beating. But still, it, it shouldn't give you too much trouble if you just use the super jump. Just be sure to watch your FP. Oh, damn it. Shiny Peach again. Now that, now that I look at it, it actually kind of looks like uh, when you get poison there, it kind of looks like the color scheme or the color tint of one sh like, I don't know, you guys probably won't get this, but, or maybe you will, but of the shine that you pick up in um, Super Mario Sunshine when uh, you're in Pianta Village and it's nighttime, the, the shines kind of have like a different glow to them. I don't, that, that probably just like didn't make any sense. Well, I don't know, if you've played the game, you probably know what I mean, but yeah, kind of reminds me of that now that I look at it. Hmm. Interesting. And just a few more hits here and they should be done. Just smash his face. Whoa, 222? That was a pretty awesome number. Alright. Um. I will take this guy out. What the hell? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I forget this, um, let's just get through Gino and Mario's turns here. I need to show off what the mystery egg does. Okay, so, oh, Mario, you would just completely s screw me over like that. Okay, so, go to your uh, items bag and find the mystery egg here. Now, you have to want, you have to only let Peach use this and only when she's wearing the bathtub ring. So, make her use it. Um, no, I said make her use it. There you go. And... It will seemingly do nothing, but with the bathtub ring equipped, you want to do that 10 times. Yes, 10 times in, like, I guess, multiple battles over the course of battles. And when you do that, you will see something interesting happen. And I'm going to do a bit of healing here quick. But yeah, so I'm probably going to do that just to, like, the item that you get for it is not quite, it's not that great, but it's, it can be useful, I guess. Yeah, whatever. I'll just get it to show for completeness. Oh, look at that. Bowser reached level 15. Hell yeah. Didn't that already happen before? I don't know. Maybe. Well, whatever. You know what? Bowser learns Crusher. I'm probably not going to get a chance to show off Bowser's, like, skills or magic or whatever. Because he kind of sucks, in my opinion. Like, you can use him if you want. See, test them out. See what they do. Um. Nine, ten. Oh, whatever. All right, yeah, you can test them out to see what they do if you want, but personally, I don't think I don't feel the need to. All right, and head down down these stairs, and I guess just keep following the arrows for now. Ooh, hello. What are you? Oh, whoa. Here's a shy away and a ribite. Ooh, those are threatening names. Well, not. The shy way isn't really threatening, especially if it dies in one hit like that. Ribite is just like taunting. It's overly taunting. <laughs> Stupid. Wow. And dead. P killed by a parasol. How pathetic. Well, that was a pathetic battle. There you go. The only chance that they got to attack was when one monster attacked another monster, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Uh, that was nice. Thanks. Thanks for that. Okay, and you might recognize this area. Why is this question box empty? Because we've already hit it before. But we haven't been here before yet, have we? Well, it would seem that we actually have. Once I get out of this battle, I'll explain everything. Don't worry. Willy Wisp. Hmm. What? Uh, no. Ow. Not really. Uh, sleep sauce, haha. <laughs> Using our Geno, stupid. He's immune. Yeah. For some reason, all these enemies around here seem to be doing their status ailment effects like sleep sauce and poison and whatever on Geno. And it's like completely pointless because he's not, he's not gonna take effect. It's not gonna take effect on him. Right, so nothing down here and a spring. Where could this possibly go? That's right. We're back in Kiro Sewers. Remember when we kind of glitched out the game way back towards the beginning of this LP to get up to this pipe? 
Well, that's where it leads. Uh, can I go down the pipe now? Thank you. And I'll, of course, them enemies respawn. I'm not going to fight them this time. Or at least I won't fight them voluntarily. And that's, I guess, pretty much the whole point of going here, is to get back for, like, a sh random shortcut back to Kiro Sewers for some reason. Why would you, why do you ever want that? I have no idea. And jump. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay, I, there we go. Made it back without having to fight anyone. Ain't it the way. And now I have to do the frickin' sky bridge again, don't we? Well, damn it. Can I just, like, cross without the challenge? Thank you. Yeah, see? I think when you cross without the challenge, it, like, automatically jumps for you, because I f it felt kind of stiff there to me. Alright. Ah, oh, I haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you heading? Is it Monstro Town by any chance? Why, actually, yes it is, my good friend. There, there might be a star there, so... Wait, there's a star right there on save block. Oh my goodness. Have we been passing up all those save blocks when they clearly have, like, star pieces on them? Damn it. Now I'm just being stupid. Okay, listen up. For the world where the... Look for the world where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monster Town is just around the corner. I'll see you there. Alright, so that's actually some good advice that we're going to take advantage of in the next episode. That, yep. I'm sorry to end it right there when we're just getting kind of close to Monstro Town. And it sounds like an awesome place because it's like, oh my gosh, Monstro. It's, it's such a glamorous word. How can you possibly resist it? Well, you can't. But you'll find out what it is all about in the next episode. So, thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, I'm Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.